Win Coop Brewing, Denver, Colorado, Brewers Brothers USA. <laughs> <laughs> Call B roll. Colorado in Denver at the Wincoop Brewery. Got their flagship beer, the Rail Yard Red Ale. It's gonna go nose deep. Cheers. Very good. Reminds me of City Steam back home. Like environments where you're just like, <laughs> and then you get over there and you're like, I'm good. Yeah. 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 Winko Brewery, very solid, 3.9 star. Cheers. Uh, Mrs. Brew's got the head of ice in here, give it a shot. Hey. Not bad. What's going on? <laughs> uh, you want to check out Union Station here in downtown Denver? A lot of characters, a lot of stuff going on, and uh, a lot of stuff. Let's check it out. All right, checking out the Terminal Bar in Union Station, Denver. Mm -hmm. All right, at the Terminal Bar, it's ruckus. Racial Beer Works, West Coast IPA, Antidote IPA, solid. Three point five stars. All right, we're here at Red Rocks Theater in Colorado, drinking Coors Light. What else are you gonna do? You're in Denver. You're in Colorado. You gotta have Coors Light. Here we go. Might be the best Coors Light I ever had. Here, at Red Rocks. Went with the original Coors Banquet beer. Hey, it's a great day. Great day for Coors. Oh, man. The course is hitting right tonight. Cheers. Nose deep. that blue moon that we're all familiar with. Got a flight, so maybe it's an unfair advantage to when I'm judging the beer, because I'm trying four different types rather than just going with one beer. But, hey, see how it goes. All right, when in Denver, gotta try, try them all. So we'll start with the flagship beer, Belgian white beer. So here we go. It's like the very familiar taste that we all know. The dry hop Belgian. Solid. The West Coast IPA. 
besides regular prisoners, West Coast IPAs are probably among my favorites. Judging this one pretty hard. Yeah, it's not dessert, but it's really not Very good. Finally, the Oktoberfest. It's that time of year, so Oktoberfest beer. Gotta go for it. Also very solid. Will it surpass the Coors Banquet beer in Red Rocks? I'm not sure yet. To be determined. Of these four, the two that are sticking out to me the most, the flagship and the West Coast IPA. Dry hot pills here at Oktoberfest are good. I think breweries at home do them slightly better, if I'm being honest. But the West Coast IPA, that's sticking out to me. I feel like I've been saying what the light does. Actually, though. Oh, it's not too slow, like in down south, right? Yeah, right. Like, more relaxed. Or, like, down to perfect. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, reality. I feel like I feel so much more in tune with reality here. Yeah. And I really like that. What did you say? I feel like everyone we've met is from here. In every place we've gone. That's exactly how I feel. Oh, my God. Do you want to be right? I think so. Do you want to be right? I don't feel as much of it, especially as much of that, like, competition hustle here. You know, like, I'm in the hospital, which is going to wind up. It's a good answer. So, we have to ask her. Please, please, please. Nice guy. Oh, good. 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 All right, finishing the flagship. You gotta score it off the first pints or the first taste. Three point nine stars. Solid. Right, We're ready. here at Postino's, I'm doing a beautiful pour here on a lager. Um, look at that. Nope, didn't get to the tip. Gotta get to the tip, you know. <laughs> like the professionals. Oh, gorgeous. Did you look at that? Going nose deep. Not too bad. Mm. Oh, one sip and done. Mm. Are we breaking four? Are we breaking four? 3.7. No! Wow, it's wow. It's 3.7. It's pretty good, right. but that aftertaste, 3.7. <laughs> Bruce, brother, and crew here in Denver. Cheers. I'm your next co-host. <laughs>